I want to thank everybody for watching the previous video on the BIOS update we did on the Gigabyte TRX40 Designare. And apparently we had uh, been long overdue for that, so success, I'm thankful, appreciate the comments. And speaking of that, we're going to answer a subscriber question today. Another question came up about BIOS profiles, so we're going to talk about that. And uh, we've got a question we're going to answer from Michael V. And Michael V's question, nice overview, is there any way to generate a list of all BIOS settings customizations prior to upgrading? I have used screenshots with prior updates, but that's a slow process. And then I went through and gave him some, uh, actually a, a litany, a list of uh, different applications, but a lot of those are specific to uh, specific vendors. And even some of the generic ones really deal with getting into the BIOS and extracting code. And those can be dangerous and risky and iffy, and I don't like to get too far into that. Okay, there is a way with BIOS profiles that I think may do what we want. I don't usually show it. Uh, I've never recommended it before, but I think it'll do uh, what Michael's asking, and I think it'll be simple and straightforward. Now, the nice thing about this, uh, I'm going to show you what Michael mentioned about the old way to do it. I haven't been doing that way because of capturing and streaming. I take these screens from the different inputs, and because I record it to the video switch, I have a video of all that. And I may show you how to do that as a continuation of this to talk about capturing and streaming. But before we do that, what we're going to deal with here. Now we're going to have two screens up. One the computer we're working on, which is Gigabyte TRX40 Designare, so the title of this video is Saving BIOS Profiles on the TRX40 Designare. And I'm going to be using the manual to outline how this works so you'll know how to find that information. The first thing we have to start with, we're going to need a disk like we use for the Windows installation media. Okay, these need to be 32 gigs or less, same, same type of uh, material. It has to be 32 gigs or less and formatted for FAT32. And I'm going to take this disk, plug it into the back of the computer. And we're not going to need the network plugged in, so I'll unplug that. But I can put this on any one of these five ports. It doesn't matter which one. It doesn't matter if it's USB 2 or USB 3, and these are all USB 3. So I'm just going to pick one, plug it in. And yes, there is one specific down here to doing BIOS updates. We're not doing that. We're saving BIOS profiles. So we're going to plug that in. And we're going to go over to the manual, and we're going to do a search on the word profile. First profile you'll see is about XMP. That's not what we're after. I hit enter again. It'll do a search and comes up. Save the current BIOS settings to a profile. Okay, with the memory stick installed, as we boot up, once this boots up, we're going to go to the BIOS, and we're going to save those settings. And I'm going to start with the easiest, which would be screen capture. And to reiterate, we may show a continuation of that, of how to capture screen under streaming and capturing. It's extremely fascinating, but I take some of this for granted because I've been doing it so long. But I shouldn't because it's easy once you know how, but we're here to share the knowledge. So let's boot the computer. Apply power. Turn it on. Energize. Once the system starts coming up, four things we're going to see. We'll notice power to the video card, power to the Amplitech squid. We'll see our BIOS postcodes, error codes, or uh, BIOS codes here. Then our power on self-test code we'll hear from the PC speaker. Once we hear that report from the post, then we can go to the BIOS. And remember, our media needs to be set and ready. Post and the BIOS. Now the screen we're looking for, I want to start at the bottom. F12, capture the current screen as an image and save it to your USB drive. Okay, based on what we see right now, let's go to something useful. And if we just did an F12, right there. Screen capture success, image saved in Samsung Flash. See, it automatically found the drive. Gave it a file name, and it's a BMP file. And all I have to do is say OK. But I have just captured that screen. That is the way we've done things in the past. Now we're going to take a look at the way we have options for saving profiles. And we're going to press F3 to save the current BIOS settings to a profile. And this is under Advanced Mode Function Keys. So we're going to press F3 to save the current BIOS settings to a profile. F3. And if you'll notice, it all says here, Profile. One, two, three, all the way through eight. And then I have another setting that says select file in the hard drive, floppy drive, or USB drive. So the first thing I'm going to do is save a profile, give it a name, and I'm going to call that the Amphiltech Squid Profile. And I'm going to say OK. Profile saved. Now when I press F3 again, it says I can select file in the hard drive, floppy drive, USB. Select device. Flash drive fit. Unknown device. So we'll go flash drive fit, and the information we get we have to pick a directory or new file. So I'm going to stick it under TRX40, which is the three BIOSes, and I'm going to call it new file. 
Same name. Amphitech SQUID squid. I expect it'll probably truncate. It won't let me do the brackets. Yeah, it'll truncate. So what I need to do is the uh, Amphitech underscore squid. And I'm going to say OK. Profile saved. Now what I want to do is I'm going to pull the disk. Let's put it on a computer while we still have the BIOS. See if we can see that file. See what's on it. We'll find out. So I'll pull the disk. We'll take it to another computer. And this is a Windows installation disk under TRX40. And there's a file Amphitech squid. 14.9 kilobytes. I did not give it a file extension name. But I'm going to do a right click. I'll do an open with. Let's see if we can open it with Notepad and see what we've got. Now that's not an ASCII text file. That's a machine code file. But that is a file that the BIOS can read. Because we can take that file, even though we can't read it, the BIOS should be able to read it. So I'm going to put it back in. Go back to the system. And this time the F3. We can see our saved profiles. But what we want is F4. Load the BIOS settings from a profile created before. So this time we'll press Escape. We'll press F4. And right there, load a profile. We can load the profile from the Amphitech squid that's in the BIOS. Boot record last known good. Or select the file from a disk. If I select the file, flash fit, pick the directory, enter, and then select the file Amphitech squid, and then enter. So that should solve that. So that's about how to save a BIOS profile. We can save a BIOS profile. We can save an image. My suggestion, because I'm always concerned about somebody monkeying something up in the BIOS, my concern, save the image files. That way you've got that. You can look at it, see what's going on. Because you see the machine file we have is not an ASCII text file. It's a machine file. But it's a file that the BIOS can read, and that's what matters. So if you want to have both, there's your two options. But I would stick with the old way, which is saving the BIOS image. So hope this helps. I want to thank you guys for watching. This is BuilderBuy. My name is Gil Boyd. We're on to the next video. We're out. <laughs>